Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's early June 2021 and we now have the first installment of the Greepen free mod in DTS World. With the Greepen, of course, comes a new weapon, the mighty air-to-air -air meteor weapon. So, of course, we have to test how good this weapon is. Today, we're going to look at the maximum range of it. So we've set ourselves in optimum parameters, or pretty much as good as we can get. We've got 50,000 feet from the Gripen at its maximum speed. I can't really get it higher and I can't get any faster. I've got almost no fuel, I'm burning on fumes. I've got no other stores other than the one Meteor. As for the other aircraft, we have the legendary Airbus A380. The reason I've chosen this is because it has a massive radar cross-section and I can lock onto it from a long way away. As well as that, it's not too shabby. It can fly relatively fast and relatively high. So in terms of kinematics and radiation, I've got what I think is going to be the best combination we can. Next, let's look at the previous results. Well, the AIM 54A Mark 60 Phoenix, we've got exactly 140 nautical miles. The AIM 120C AMRAM, we've got 88 nautical miles. If you want to see those videos, I'll put them in the video description. In terms of this meteor, I've seen all kinds of guesses and all kinds of quotes. It's anyone's guess, so I guess we're just going to fire it and see how well we do. So, off we go. Radar on. Zoom it out. BBR. Select the target. Target locked. 145 miles and just to show you that is the minimum range of the missile the R lethal range of the missile and the R max range of the missile it's going to be about 120 miles by the looks of it but let's keep going now we want to achieve a good combination of speed and altitude which is most important to us I'm not sure but I don't want to go much higher because our aircraft just really struggles any further than 50,000 feet Speed things up a little. I want to get it right on the nose. Okay, here we go. Shoot. Fire. Shoot. Stop. Missile out at 121.6 nautical miles. So it looks like that's going to be the R max that we can find with this missile. Not quite as much as the legendary 1960s slash 70s AIM 54A Mark 60. But that is still an awfully long way. Now we have to actually check this thing hits because we're not sure if this is going to hit. But there's some pause. Off it goes. It's in a loft. Let's go and watch the missile, shall we? Speed of the missile is at the bottom and altitude. 3,700 knots, 50, going on towards 60,000 feet, 4,000 knots, 60,000 feet, keep going, checking the cockpit, all is well, 70,000 feet, 4,500 knots, going for 75,000 feet, 5,000 knots, and looks like we're going to peak, we're going to peak. At eight, we peaked at about 80,000 feet. I think it's still going up actually. Okay, it's, speed's coming down now. We peaked at, I think, five and a half thousand knots, which I think at this altitude is around Mach 9, possibly Mach 10. Let me know what you think. Uh, at 80,000 feet. So that is an absolute beast. Can it do that in real life? Probably not. They couldn't really model this as per the missile exactly. They had to modify, I think, uh, an AMRAM to get this to work. But, you know, they do what they had to do. At some point, we're going to have an aeroplane come into view. We may as well speed forwards because... There we go. Oh, this one's going to hurt. And there we have it, what I would consider optimal parameters for the Meteor. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.